Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So last night, we got the details for the upcoming Tech Golden Frieza Extreme Z Awakening. I gotta say, it's looking really, really good guys. So let's jump into it. We're gonna start with the leader skill here. So his new leader skill is Tech Types Key Plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 120%, which is a pretty freaking huge upgrade from his previous leader skill, which was HP, attack, and defense plus 100% with no key. So this guy essentially becomes a 120% lead, but without the super or extreme restriction, which is absolutely amazing. So great, great leader skill right there. His super attack still causes immense damage, obviously, but now massively lowers defense. So massively is an 80% debuff to the enemy's defense for three turns, so that's huge. And his passive, of course, is where things get really interesting. So his new passive is attack plus 80%, so that's unconditional, and damage received minus 80% when HP is 50% or above, plus an additional attack plus 50%, and damage received minus 50% when HP is 49% or below. So if you compare that to his old passive, which was damage received minus 70% and attack plus 70%, when HP is 50% or above, that is an absolutely massive upgrade, guys. Because as good as Tech Golden Frieza was before, which he was, he was very useful, he was basically dead weight if he fell below 50% HP. But now, he's going to be useful either way. So he starts off with 80% attack, and that stays there no matter what. But he becomes even more tanky when you're above 50% HP than before, because he now reduces damage by 80% as opposed to 70%, but even when you fall below 50% HP, he's still gonna be a very good tank with that 50% damage reduction, but he's gonna start hitting extremely, extremely hard. So overall, it's just such a great Extreme Z Awakening. I think he's gonna be just insanely good, and I can't wait to see what kind of damage numbers he's gonna be able to push out when below 50% HP. So like, I mean, I love it. It's awesome. It's a really, really good Extreme Z Awakening. So that's his passive right there. And links stay the same as before. Categories are the same. As you can see, he's in a lot of categories. Resurrected Warriors, Movie Bosses, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline. And I would go, I would just go ahead and say that he's probably going to be close to optimal, if not optimal, on every single one of these categories because he's just really freaking good, guys. Okay. So uh, everything else is pretty standard. Uh, his stats, his new max stats are over here, 17,253 attack, 16,941 HP, and 10,907 defense. Pretty solid stats, not as good as the, um, you know, like Super Saiyan 3 Goku or Super Gogeta or anything like that, but still very respectable. And let's actually pop over to his Extreme Z battle event real quick. So this is going to be his Extreme Z battle event. Now, unfortunately, a lot of information is still missing. But you can expect your standard uh, one stone per stage for the first 30. Uh, lots of tech orbs, lots of tech kais, medals of course to awaken him, so on and so forth. And in total, it's going to be uh, all the medals we need to awaken him, plus enough tech orbs to rainbow a uh, tech type unit. And 11 tech grand kais, 30 stones, plus some extra stones from missions. And we also know that his weakness is going to be wicked bloodline category. So basically, the uh, AGL metal cooler lead category obviously you don't need to bring an AGL metal cooler having him would be the best case scenario but you can also uh you know just bring as many wicked bloodline units as you can possibly can on like a resurrected warriors team or something like that i'm sure it could also work at least for beating the first 30 levels but uh you know more information still needs to come out for me to know for sure but uh that's all the information we currently have guys and uh i just gotta say i am very excited for this EZA, man they're making these EZAs look better and better and i already loved tech golden frieza as a unit and now i'm just gonna love him even more so everybody wins that's freaking awesome can't wait for it to come to global but for now jp enjoy the tech golden frieza extreme z awakening let me know in the comments down below guys what you think about this new and improved tech golden frieza and uh that's pretty much it for the video hope you guys find it useful hope you guys were informed and as always if you like the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content but that's all i gotta say guys i'm out of here hope you guys have a fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>